Hello, I'm Armand Kodai, a 24-year-old individual with uh, high-functioning autism. My video response is a response to a video by um, a young lady who calls herself the Ann Mish, or um, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if I, if I said it wrong. Um, anyway, um, she has several fascinating videos. I've watched about half of them so far, and I've been having a difficult time choosing exactly which video I wanted to do a response on. Um, so many really fascinating videos. Um, uh, you know, a warning to some viewers. You know, she's pretty blunt, um, but she has some good points. Um, so it's interesting watching her video. So I decided to do this video uh, response to an Asperger's myth that Aspies like other Aspies. Well, I don't have Asperger's, but I have high function autism, and I, inter and I interact personally with a lot of people with Asperger's. Um, so I chose this video because it's one of her most recent ones out there. So, um, I run a support group for young adults with, with um, autism and Asperger's and that kind of stuff. And I work with a lot of people and, uh, you know, at times, you know, I, there's definitely been a difficulty where there's no common interest. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've probably worked with, you know, done things in either the groups or whatever with about 20 or so um, individuals with autism. And... Uh, like like the like she says um the Ann Mish or however you say it I apologize uh yes if there's no common interest it does make it a lot more difficult and she's saying that most of her friends are people without autism she she likes the term neurotypical I stay away from that because um if you notice in my videos I don't really use the term neurotypical to describe people without autism um because first of all to me the term's a little bit offensive um I, I, to me, when especially when someone of autism says it, you know, it sound to me, I feel like that that it's like someone of autism feels almost gives like a sense of superiority. You know, why why neurotypical? I just say everyone else, whatever. It doesn't matter. But um, so I do have I do interact with and I've had a lot of friends that were not on the spectrum, and uh, I definitely made friendships with people on the spectrum, and some of them have come over a period of time from getting to know them through my groups and stuff. Um, but I guess when you're with people for a long time, you start to notice the subtle things. I, you know, especially with autism, you know. Um, and and for me, well, I guess running the groups and everything, I have an obligation to to help these people out as much as possible, you know, and to help them develop social skills and friendships and, and all that kind of stuff. And I work on that. And and so I I, I find ways to bring it out. And like the Amish says, yes, if if we only want to talk about the things that interest us, and we have a hard time understanding that other people, you know, that, that don't have autism, you know, just want to talk about a myriad of subjects like, oh, did you watch the Super Bowl game? Oh, um, what did you think about the uh, Oscar nominations? Oh, did you watch the presidential address? Oh, my, the economy sucks. Um, oh, geez, man, it worked today, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I like, uh, and, you know, it's like, oh, I like horses. Oh, no, we don't know anything about horses, you know, whatever. So, so yeah, that, that is very true. But, um, I do believe that friendships can be made from people that you don't have an interest with. Um, but I also do think, you know, that you can't force someone of Asperger's syndrome or high function autism or PDNOS or whatever to like someone else with with Asperger's, whatever, you know. Um, it won't necessarily work. So, so she has some good points there. Um, but for me, I have many friends on the spectrum. And... Uh, and I have many friends that are not on the spectrum. I have many friends that, that I have no common interest on, but it's really because I worked on it because I set a goal for myself. The goal that I set was in 2004, 2003. Um, it was with my speech therapist at the time. I, and we, she said, what do you want to achieve for, for social skills? Or whatever? I said, I want to be able to interact with anyone, no matter what age, um, what their social status was, what gender they were, whatever. I want to be able to interact with them. And so... I guess it's because I met I made this goal because I wanted to show people with autism what's possible, you know, and to show people that with autism that you can interact with different people and that kind of stuff. So I guess that I've um, learned to compromise, um, talking about common interests, to to learn um, about other people's interests and stuff, which has been a challenge. Um, it has been. It is a challenge. You know, sometimes I really want to talk about what interests me, but I just can't, and I. And I've learned that it's not appropriate. So anyway, I thank you for watching this video. 
And I wish all of you a most awesome day of awesomeness. And thank you very much. Take care.